exploring the latest surgical and hybrid techniques for the management of early stage lung cancer, stage 1 and 2B. Professor Dr. Tarek Mosin, MD, FRCS. Cardiothoracic Surgeon. Cairo University Hospitals. Introduction. Surgical resection. Remains the standard of care for functionally operable early stage, NSCLC, stage 1 and 2B. The principal aim of surgical treatment for non-small cell lung cancer is to obtain a complete resection including a standard lobectomy plus mediastinal lymph node dissection, MLND. MLND provides crucial prognostic information, is essential for the administration of adjuvant therapy. Extent of resection. Surgery is personalized, according to cancer characteristics, extensions, and site. Pre-invasive, local tumors to locally advanced, metastatic disease, or residual disease after medical treatment. Cardiopulmonary function and Kornovisky score this can be 1. Pneumonectomy 2. Lober 3. Sublober Anatomical, segmentectomy Non-anatomical, wedge 4. Sleeve resections Determined by the anatomical site of the tumor and expertise. 5. Carinal resection. Techniques. This can be. Open thoracotomy. Video assisted thoracoscopic surgery. Robotic assisted thoracoscopic surgery. Hybrid. Smaller incisions, equates to better functional outcome. Surgical resection for cancer is the first antineoplastic treatment that was developed a century ago. Concerning the surgical approach, thoracotomy remains the gold standard. Minimally invasive surgery, such as, VATS, and, RATS, constitutes a real technological, medical, and surgical revolution by making it possible to conduct a resection that respects oncologic criteria, using small incisions without rib spreading. Misled to better short-term outcomes with fewer adverse events, shorter hospital stays, and lower morbidity and mortality rates. Ambulatory lobectomy has been investigated as a safe procedure. Regarding short-term outcomes, the superiority of VATS or RATS is still debated. Smaller resections, stage 1 less than 1 cm to 3 cm. Current interest in sublober resection with early detection programs and during the COVID era. Current management of stage 1 NSCLC. Multidisciplinary approach. From T1 minimal invasive to T2 N0 M0 NSCLC. Lobectomy or segmentectomy for ground glass opacity less than 2 cm, adenocarcinoma in situ, adenocarcinoma minimal invasive or invasive less than 2 cm, required margin 1 cm or more than the size of lung nodule. Lymph node assessment either complete lymph node dissection or lobe-specific lymph node assessment. Approach open or minimal invasive techniques. From T1C to T2A, N0, M0 NSCLC. Resection, lobectomy. Lymph node, MLND or lobe-specific lymph node assessment. Approach, open offer minimal invasive techniques. Segmentectomy and planning. Multimodal planning for minimal invasive techniques tailored for each individual. Preoperative planning, radiology, CT scanner and 3D reconstruction. Pre or preoperative marking, CT and bronchoscopy. Planning and controlled minimal invasive segmentectomy. Stage 2, excluding T3, 5 to 7 cm in diameter. Should be discussed in MDT approach. T2B N0 M0 and T1A to T2B N1 M0 non small cell bone cancer multimodality treatment combining surgery anatomical resection with complete MLND adjuvant therapy according to pathological analysis chemotherapy either targeted or immunotherapy and radiology approaches thoracotomy or minimal invasive Stage 2, T3 and 0. Taloired and multimodal therapy for stage 2B. Pancoast tobias tumor, neoadjuvant followed by surgery. 
non-pancostobias parietal tumor, neoadjuvant followed by surgery. CT3 lung nodule 5 to 7 cm, surgery lobectomy plus MLND. Redefining pneumonectomy in early stage lung cancer. For central and hilar NSCLC, pneumonectomy could be indicated. Sleeve lobectomy was initially performed for patients with a contraindication to pneumonectomy. Anatomical sleeve resection is a validated oncologic alternative not only to prevent the risk of residual tumor, but also to reduce post-operative mortality and to prevent a reduced quality of life due to pneumonectomy. Salvage surgery Salvage surgery is considered for patients with a residual local tumor or recurrence after medical treatments without surgical resection. Until recently, the treatment used was chemotherapy and radiotherapy, but today, patients are treated with a combination of chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy and different regimens of radiotherapy including stereotactic body radiotherapy, SRBT. Enhanced Recovery to Ambulatory Surgical Care, ERAS. ERAS is a fast-track protocol. With multidisciplinary teamwork. In a high-quality preoperative preparation, anesthesia, pain management, and minimal invasive surgery. Allowing patients with complex resection to be discharged first day postoperative. Hybrid operating operative room. With screening programs, GGOs and subcentric lesions were detected. Utilizing fluoroscopy, CBCT, MRI, near-infrared, PET, and electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy. ENB, and virtual bronchoscopic navigation tools as imaging modalities. Multidisciplinary team, anesthesiologist, pulmonologist, intervention radiologist, thoracic surgeon, and pathologist. Electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy, ENB, localization. Electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy, ENB, radiofrequency. Electromagnetic navigation bronchoscopy, ENB, microwave ablation. Segmentectomy and wedge, revisited. Randomized trial of lobectomy versus limited resection for T1N0 non-small cell lung cancer. Lung cancer study group. Conclusions, compared with lobectomy, Limited pulmonary resection does not confer improved perioperative morbidity, mortality, or late postoperative pulmonary function. Because of the higher death rate and locoregional recurrence rate associated with limited resection, lobectomy still must be considered the surgical procedure of choice for patients with peripheral T1N0 non-small cell lung cancer. Segmentectomy and wedge, revisited to, conflicting data. Segmentectomy and wedge in the era of technology. The interest in wedge resections is also to some extent further fueled by the emergence and increased utilization of competing technologies of local control such as stereotactic radiation or percutaneous and transbronchial ablative techniques. When wedge resection is required, the focus should be on the quality of the wedge resection with the surgeon routinely. Performing hilar and mediastinal lymph node sampling. And ensuring as much as possible a wide resection margin. Segmentectomy and wedge, revisited 2022 Japanese trial. Segmentectomy versus lobectomy in small-sized peripheral non-small cell lung cancer with radiologically pure solid appearance in Japan. Interpretation, to our knowledge. This study was the first phase 3 trial to show the benefits of segmentectomy versus lobectomy in overall survival of patients with small peripheral NSCLC. The findings suggest that segmentectomy should be the standard surgical procedure for this population of patients. Segmentectomy and wedge, revisited 2023 US trial. Lober or sublober resection for peripheral stage 1A non small cell lung cancer. Conclusions. In patients with peripheral NSCLC with a tumor size of 2 cm or less and pathologically confirmed node negative disease in the hilar and mediastinal lymph nodes, sublober resection was not inferior to lobectomy with respect to disease-free survival. Overall survival was similar with the two procedures. Lobectomy in conjunction with mediastinal lymph node dissection, 
MLND, is recognized as the gold standard for surgical resection. However, it necessitates adaptation to the unique characteristics of lung cancer and the patient's pulmonary function. Minimally invasive surgery, employing techniques such as video-assisted thoracic surgery, VATS, and robotic-assisted thoracic surgery, RATS, facilitates enhanced patient recovery. These methods yield superior short-term outcomes and commendable long-term survival rates. Segmentectomy and sleeve resection are established oncologic resections that offer promising long-term survival rates and favorable short-term outcomes. In the context of lung cancer as a chronic disease, the objectives of treatment extend beyond immediate survival. They encompass the conservation of lung tissue and the preservation of lung function, thereby enhancing the patient's quality of life and longevity. These goals underscore the importance of a nuanced and patient-centric approach to lung cancer treatment. Thank you.